Searching online, used to be a frustrating for me, until I found Perplexity AI. Now, I simply ask my questions in plain English, and Perplexity sifts through the web to deliver clear, concise answers. Perplexity uses multiple sources, which can be changed based on our preferences. Once we change the sources, Perplexity will give a new answer based on the modified sources. Today, I'll show you how to build a custom GPT, inside chat GPT, for searching the web, and summarizing answers, similar to Perplexity AI. Let's get started. I am going to build a new custom GPT, for summarizing search results. Before we start, let's look at the prerequisites. You need a chat GPT plus subscription, with GPT access to create the search summarizer. Free users cannot build this feature, as GPT 3.5 doesn't support web browsing. Here, I am on the default screen of my chat GPT plus account. Click on the explore button to load the GPT screen. Let me create the GPT using this button. I am going to choose configure option, instead of the create option. Let me name the GPT as, search summarizer. AIRZ is a prefix for my GPTs. I am going to use DAL E option, for adding a profile image to the GPT. Let me add a description while the image is being created. Now, let me explain the capabilities. This GPT is going to browse the web. So, web browsing should be enabled. This GPT is not going to create any images, or generate any code. So, I can untick other two capabilities. Now, I am moving into the instructions, where we define the logic for the GPT. Let's expand the instruction window, to see them clearly. Here are the initial instructions, that I use for all my GPTs. I am asking to follow the commands inside the commands tag, and generate the output. I use opening and closing commands tag, to separate the commands from other instructions. Chat GPT doesn't always follow the exact instructions. So, I have duplicated main instruction at the end, to tell that it's important. Let me add the first command for searching the web. I use opening and closing command tag to keep the instructions for that specific command. The name of the command is added as a parameter to command tag. I start the command with its sign, followed by ss, for search summarizer. Then, I use term, to indicate that we are searching something. Finally, the search term inside brackets. You can use any format or command of your choice. The next step, is to spell out exactly what I want to happen, when I use this new command. Here are my instructions. Let me go through them. Grab 5 top links for the given search term. Chat GPT will use, search with Bing option to get the results. Then, I want it to list the links. Next, grab the content from links, and summarize all of them into a single summary. Make sure to include content from all the URLs in the summary. If you can't access the content of a URL, make sure to notify the user. Now, I'm going to define the format for output. First, I have a title called links, followed by the links to all sources. Then, I want a title called summary, followed by the summary of the links. Now, the GPT is ready to publish. Let me click on the save button and click confirm to publish the GPT. I am publishing it as a public GPT. Let me search something to see if the GPT is working as expected. First, I have to use the command, ss, term. I am searching for current situation in OpenAI, as it's been one of the trending topics as the time of recording this video. As you can see, it's browsing multiple sources. Let me wait for the results. As expected, ChatGPT is listing the sources first. Here, we have five sources as requested. Then, it's providing the summary from those five sources. Seems like we have a good summary, covering the content from all the sources. Let me check the sources list. It seems like ChatGPT was unable to access the source number 4 and 5. So, the answer was only based on the first three sources. Some websites are blocking ChatGPT. So, it can't access the URLs on those sites. Similar to Perplexity, it also shows which source was used for each part of the summary. Now, the basic functionality is working. Next, I need a way to remove certain sources, and construct the summary using remaining sources. 
Let me edit the GPT. To remove sources, I need to have a way to refer them, ideally by using a number. So, I am going to add more instructions using a tag called, important. I am updating the main instructions, and asking to always consider instructions inside the important tag. Let me add some instructions to enable numbering system. Each time I use one of the commands, do the following. Number 1. Assign a unique number to the sources in the format, S1, S2. Number 2. Assign a unique number to every summary in the format, SM1, SM2. Number 3. Explain the difference of summary, compared to SM1, which is the original summary. Number 4. Display the numbers with sources and summaries. Let's update the GPT, and see if we can see the changes. I am confirming the update. Let's click, View GPT button to load the search summarizer. Let's do the search like last time. I am changing the query to include a specific date, as two of the five sources were not accessible last time. Let's wait for the results. Now, I have five links and a summary. Seems like all five links are accessible. There is an additional comparison with previous summary. It explains the changes in details, and focus. Looks like numbers are assigned internally. However, they are not displaying on the screen as I requested. So, I'm going to ask, whether all the instructions were followed. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Interesting. ChatGPT is saying it has followed all instructions. It's providing the instructions, along with how it was executed. Here, we can find all the assigned numbers. Ideally, it should have been displayed with source URLs. Now, I can edit the GPT, and add new command to remove the sources. I am copying the previous command tag and pasting it here. I am going to name the new command as, ss, remove. Parameter will be the numbers of sources. I am planning to add numbers, as a comma separated string. Here are the instructions of this command. Remove the sources with the given numbers from sources list. Get the content only from remaining sources in the list. Then, show a summary of those links. Output format should be, at, ss, term, space, search term command. Let me close the instructions window and save the changes. Now, the GPT is ready with updated instructions. Let me run a different search query. I am asking for results on, OpenAI, latest releases. Let me skip to the results. As you can see, now we have the sources list, and summary with the relevant numbers. Last time, numbers were not displayed, even though they were generated internally. We can't expect a consistent output format every time. Now, let me check if the new remove command is working. I am starting the command with, ss, remove. Then, I am asking to remove sources 2 and 3. Let's see what happens. It's telling me that two sources were removed. It also mentions the remaining sources with numbers. This is impressive as I have not given any instructions to do this. Now, it starts the new summary using remaining sources. Summary number is also mentioned correctly. Here is the comparison of the summary, compared to the previous summary. It's highlighting the changes, and how the focus was changed based on available sources. So, now I have a way to search like perplexity, and also remove the sources I don't need. Let's try something different. I am going to ask chat GPT to include three new sources. Ideally, it should add three new sources to the existing two sources. Then, generate a summary based on five sources. Let's see what happens. Keep in mind, that I have not given any pre-built instructions to add new sources. Seems like it has followed my instructions perfectly. Three new sources are added, and numbers are assigned to them as, 5, 6 and 7. It's generating the third summary. Now, the summary is completed. As instructed, it's comparing this summary against the previous summary, and explaining the changes in focus. Now, 
the GPT is capable of giving a summary of search, adding new sources, and removing existing sources. Next, I am going to create another command. This time, I am going to use certain sources from the list to generate the summary, instead of removing them. Let me edit the GPT again. I am going to copy and paste the code for remove command. Let me change the name as, include, instead of remove. Let me explain the instructions. First, access the existing sources list. Then, get the content only from the mentioned numbers in the list. Finally, show a summary of those links, in the output format of ss term command. Ok. Now I'm going to save the changes, and start searching the GPT again. This time, my query is, chat GPT custom instructions. Now, I have the links and summary as usual. But numbers are not displaying. Seems like it's displaying the numbers in a separate section. Let's say I want the summary of source number 2, and 4. I can use, ss, include, command and provide the source numbers like this. Now, I have a summary using those two sources. Also, explanation on the difference of this summary compared to the previous one. Let me ask if it has followed all my instructions. Ok. It seems like all the instructions are followed. You can use this method to verify if it's working as planned. Now, the question is, am I going to use this GPT over perplexity? Let me show you same query, in both perplexity and this GPT. I have the same query on both windows. Let me run the GPT, followed by perplexity. As you can see, perplexity was able to consider multiple sources, and generate the output in few seconds. On the other hand, GPT is still browsing the sources. So, considering the speed, I will be using perplexity most of the time. However, GPT gives us more flexibility on how we want to search, with our own custom rules. So, when I need to run complex searches, I will be using the flexibility of my search summarizer GPT. I am going to include the link to search summarizer GPT, in the description of this video. Feel free to test it, and let me know how it can be improved. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.